Hello, this is Ironhead 41. I've always wanted me a blast furnace. Uh, you can do blacksmithing, melt stuff, melt steel, aluminum, lead, copper. I'm going to get ready to build one out of this 100 pound propane tank. And this sucker is full of propane, so we're going to open it up and release all of it. No open flame. Alright, we got a line marked around the top. Now we're going to cut this top off. See, it ain't blowing up, Timbo. <laughs> I'm going to cut the top off and then cut a hole in the bottom, put a piece of pipe on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, right, got a pipe mark. Now we're going to cut it. Got a cut song. <laughs> Look at it. Pipe's cut. Now let's go put it in. Alright, we measured four inches up. And then we're going to take our pipe and then we're going to cut us a hole out where four inches will be the bottom. So we can slide our pipe in and weld her up. Alright, we got the top cut. Got a hole in the bottom of it. Get ready to weld our pipe in. We're going to put stick our pipe in and put it right up to this oxygen tank. Well, this is an empty oxygen tank we're going to use for our inner mold, which is going to give us about three inches of uh, type S mortar we're going to pour around it. Plus, we're going to Vaseline that tank up so we can get it out. So, let's get the pipe. Right. Uh, go to your left with it. Right there. I like that. I like that. Well, to right there, baby. Beautiful. All right, since this is our mold, we're going to Vaseline it. We're going to lube her up. Really good so we can get it out. Oh, baby. <laughs> nah. I'm like you've done that a time or two. Hey, back in my adolescent days, you better be believe it, buddy. I hand raised mine, buddy. <laughs> if you hand raise it, they listen to you. We're going to use a Type S mortar mix. It's uh, pre-blended. It's already got the sand. It's already got grout, lime. Everything's already in it. And it should do good for high temperature. Alright. Hey, ready to shovel her on in? I think it's going to take three 80-pound bags. Alright, it took three and a little piece of 80-pound bags of Type S mortar mix. We are full. All right, David Nash, we got her filled up, built. Uh, we ain't cut a hole in top yet because we ain't went to the scrap yard yet to try to find a piece of a four inch stainless steel pipe to make a crucible out of. And we'll jerk this thing out here in a couple days. Let that mortar mix set up really good. Oh yeah, well we went to the scrap yard we're trying to find a piece of a four inch stainless steel pipe to make a crucible out of. Oh, I love scrap yards. I'm like you. I wouldn't last here five minutes. I'd be fired already. I'm taking this home. <laughs> I'm taking this home. All right, well, we thought our day was over. We're going to go ahead and do the lid. Uh, we did find a Schedule 80 stainless steel piece of pipe at the scrap yard and this nice quarter-inch thick piece of stainless steel plate. Uh, we're going to cut us a flange to go around the top of this. I'm going to make this a foot deep and then have to cut us a circle to weld the bottom. I can make two or three crucibles out of this thing first now we're going to make a mark around the lid an inch bigger round than the pipe and then cut it out all right now we've got a cut i'm going to weld some rods in here put one here one there and one there and weld it because that's going to hold the mortar that's in the lid to keep the mortar from falling out We got the mortar mix mixed in, and yeah, that's going to be a nice lid. 